Sign up today. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the June 25th, the Thirsty Thursday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that, well, it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right, when you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is gonna toss at us. Now today, you and I, we get to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We get to go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here, but much, much more important than that, during this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. You can just go ahead and send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question, and please send those early. Just simply these ISPs out there. You, you know, you can send it now, and I might not get it for half an hour out there. Uh, and then, of course, on our side, our Tigers Den, will any ping will do, and any uh, messages inside the YouTube channel, our guys in the production department will pick that up and forward those me. So let's go ahead and get this show started already on Terrific Thursday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, we got the Dow, the S&P, the NASDAQ, the Russell, all trading to the upside, 46, 5, 13, and 5 points respectively. So not a whole lot of movement, although there's been a lot of movement from top to bottom out here. But before we really break into that, well, let's take a look. What else do we have going out on? You've got gold down 4 bucks, silver's up over 1% or 20 cents out here, lights we crude. Up nearly two percent, trade down to thirty-eight sixty-eight. Natural gas, uh, just a just a booger out there, just continuing to head lower. A thirty-year treasury up about a half a point, fifteen thirty seconds, trade down to one seventy-eight and eleven thirty seconds out there. Leading the charge to the upside, you've got Fact Set Research up forty-four bucks. Spotify twenty, Shopify is up uh, fifteen, and Coupa Coupa Software up fifteen buckaroonies. To the downside, booking holdings up twenty-six bucks. You you need. Queer, man, yeah, whatever that is, uh, 1286. Top Build Corp is uh, uh, down 11, and Chipotle is off 11 bucks as well. So where do we want to begin? Where would you like to begin? I'll tell you where you're going to begin. We're going to begin by just by taking a tour back in time. Actually, we're going to just take a, well, let's do this. Let's figure out where are we at inside the Dow. I get uh, I get uh, cards and uh, cards and emails and letters all the time from folks like you, and some of them are, are a bit bitter out there. Uh, so, uh, but but many of them are asking, "Hey, Steve, are we still going to go back and test and take out those March lows out here?" Well, this chart here is a, a correlation of the 1929 bottom matched up with the March bottom this year. So, all I've done the top chart is the 1929 chart. Well, it's it's the historical dart chart. I'd mind this one here takes me back, I think, to 1865 or something like that. 1896. There you go. Let's get the right year out here. In any event, all I've done is I've then taken our current Dow chart, and I have well, I've slid forward the 1929 chart to match up with the bottom in um, in March. We can see that both those bottoms inside the Dow Rhodes momentum indicator signal out here. So both of them for, form the same type of bottom out here. You can see where price is trading right now. And one of the things that you'll notice is on the 1929 correlation, it did create a TD9 count out there. And that TD9 count identified a key level of support, which back then uh, in the 19, so we're still in probably 1930, it was probably still 1929 out here. 
close to 1930. Um, in, in any event, 246.30 was a real key level. Now, what you'll also notice, or what I'd like you to notice out here, is that the Dow this time around is also doing the same thing, created a nice little TD9 count with support at 24.781. Now, I want you to write down on your pad of paper 24.781 because that's going to be really important out here. Now, this is where we're at in the pattern. Let's go back and take a look at what does the 1929 chart actually look like? What can we learn from the past? There's many people that hate history out there. In fact, all you have to almost have to do is turn on the news and see how much people hate history or they like to make up new history out there. In any event, with regard to pattern recognition, we don't want to make up anything. We want the numbers and the charts to tell us what to do. You see, the patterns, this is all about patterns, folks. Why do these patterns work? Because you have a pattern, and the person next to you has a pattern, and the person across the street from you has a pattern, and the guy you're looking at on the screen out here, well, you're not really looking at me. I've got a pattern. You probably wake up about the same time nearly every morning, and you've got your different rituals that you go through. Those are patterns. These markets have patterns. These patterns and those rituals, people have been doing them forever, since the beginning of time. Well, these patterns that you and I look at each day between one and two, they have been working since the beginning of time from a chart standpoint out here. So now that we can take a look at, now you're back here in 1929, the actual bottom taking place on November the 14th with that Rhodes Wintum indicator signal, that little bull sash out here. It was a Rhodes Wintum indicator top, by the way, that identified the top before prices went lower for a couple of years out here. But here's the important thing. You can see from 1929, there were several, uh, there were several TD9 count patterns that formed on the counter trend rally, much like we have now. How did we know then that the markets were getting ready to head lower? It's really simple. This is the way that it works no matter what time frame you trade out there. You always want to know where support and resistance is. I probably, and you want to be able to identify significant support. Because one of the things I can promise you is that when you get a topping pattern out there, the, the all that sellers really get a chance to do is push back to try to bust out support. And you know what happens when you can't bust them? To the downside. I didn't make this up. I just have to pay the 10 cent royalty. It busts them to the upside. But closing below a TD9 breakdown level will be our indication, just as it was back on April 28th, 1930, that the markets are getting ready to head lower. So now let's take that and let's figure out exactly again where are we at inside the Dow today. So let's try to get rid of this chart. There's so much data out here. I think I'm just going to delete it because otherwise it will just simply, it's a hog putting all of that. It had all the Chapman wave cuts and everything. In any event, if we just pull over the Dow right now, how do you like this review back in history? It is important, muy importante on Thirsty Thursday. And if we do take a look at the Dow right now, you can see that first. Maybe that's the only it's possible that's the only TD9 count inside the daily time frame here for the Dow. And so the number, again, that you wrote down on your pad of paper was 24,781. Not because Stevie said so, but because the charts told you to write that down. And the charts, you can see that the first move down, the first time down, which was about a half a dozen days ago. Let me get my cursor out here. Crosshair. So it was on the trading session of June 15th. Price pushed down. It didn't get right down to 24,781, but price already tried to bust out support, hasn't done that. Right now we're trading between support and resistance in the Dow. Support 24,781, you knew that. Resistance, Stevie's squiggly green line, 26,231. Kind of the sideways, neutral ish, choppy market out there. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. That was your moment in history on the charts. We'll be right back. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading 
trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today, and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we've got a couple of questions. Let's get to those, then we can always go back to the uh, general markets out there, get a feel for what's going on. The first question here, uh, actually inside the Tiger's Den, from Jimmy Dean Sausage out here. Jimmy wants to take a look at the XLF. Now, if we take a look at the XLF, there's really a couple of different patterns that were out here. There's a Gartley sell and there was a Gartley buy. The Gartley buy took place, so let me get my cursor out here, make it a little bit easier. Um, the Gartley buy took place on uh, May the 14th. It was an A to B equal CD to the downside. And that led to the A to B equal CD to the upside, the old Gartley sell pattern. So right now, uh, price is below its daily profile. So that's not very uh bullish out here. I, I see, you're, uh, Jimmy, you're looking to take a, uh, some positions in some uh, banks out here. Well, you certainly want to get the sector correct. And the sector right now is saying, no, 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 not just yet out here. In fact, I would, I would share with you that over the uh, course of the uh, next um, at least uh, 12 months or so, and I'm not trying to time this to the, uh, to the top tick or anything like that out here, but you do have a Gartley sell. I would say stay as far away from the banks as you humanly possibly can. Yeah, did that, was I clear on that? I probably I wasn't. Let me state this again. Stay as far away as you can from the banks. Uh, things are going to get just lousy around the globe, folks. And really, if you want to, if you really want to go understand the history of markets out there, go take a look at all of the contagions that have led to really nasty markets out here. I mean, really nasty markets out here. What's the one thing if you owned a bank? Let's just assume you owned a bank. What's the one thing that you worry the most about? There's really two things, right? What are the two things that you would worry the most about? The first would be a bank run. Doesn't have to really start for any reason. Just simply if you got more people lined up than cash than you have in your bank, uh, because what do banks do? 
<laughs> they loan long term, but what they receive is short term deposits, basically, right? So that would be the first thing, would be a bank run out there. Uh, what's the second thing you're most worried about? Yeah, that those loans that you have out there, you start getting defaults upon. And look, I'm not saying it starts today, folks. And I'm saying do not listen to the boob tube and those folks that are on there. I guarantee you they don't go take a look at history. But go take a look at history. Go take a look at history out there. Be careful. Now, the one thing you don't want to have is exposure to international banks out here. But let's face it, all these banks are connected right now. Look, this, the, the bankers were told, I'm not telling you don't trust banks. The bankers are telling you don't trust banks. Isn't that a beautiful thing? If you go back and take a look at that repo crisis, that is what that was all about. That was banks saying, I don't trust you. I don't even trust you overnight. That's really what they were saying. I don't trust you overnight for you to go ahead and give me debt securities out here. Um, because I'm afraid that uh, come uh, tomorrow, when we do the swap back, uh, you're not actually going to have the cash. So it's not Steve-O that's telling you don't trust banks. It is the banks that have told you don't trust banks. But with regard to uh, is there a bottom out here? Look, it's moving sideways as well. But price is below support. It's below Stevie's green line out here at 24.15. And I would rather just let you have the bigger message you can disagree with me that's that's totally cool and that's totally fine um but then what i do is i'd probably challenge you to a history debate or something along those lines out there but it's a, so that's just my perspective out there uh i don't see a trade in the uh, xlf i i mean i heard the folks on the boob tube talking about how it was the uh, banking stocks that were lifting the markets higher out there as if they really 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 knew give me a break Okay. All right. So sorry about that. So let's go to our next uh, question out there. And, and sorry, Johnny, to add all that stuff in there. But man, I, I do want to help protect your assets. You know what I mean? And, and with uh, the emphasis on the first syllable, not the second syllable out there. All right. So the next question that came in, this one coming in from Sylvia. And Sylvia wants to take a look at uh, ticker symbol CLDR. So I hope you're getting, I am getting sun, a lot of sun out there, Sylvia. <laughs> I, I'm pretty hunkered down. I means I spend my time between the intercoastal and the beach. Uh, and uh, in any event, uh, so uh, I hope you're get, uh, so look to enter CLDR weighted as it went above the line. The line, I'm not sure what's on. Had a rejection to confirm above the line that fell below the line. Boy, that's a lot of lines out there. Anything I'm not perceiving. So let's just go take a look at this here. Let's look at the daily time frame. Uh, again, ticker symbol. Well, first, let's look at the multiple time frames. That is uh, Clodera Inc. And price is above the top of its profile, above the top of its daily, weekly, and monthly profile. So everything is above resistance levels out here. But we need to see what type of patterns are actually in play here right now. So it's it's based upon the profile charts things are bullish out here so we can understand why sylvie wants to take a long trade now what we can also see here is you can see how this formed a bottom it's not all markets will form bottoms and tops like this but when you do see these bottoms and tops you pay attention now in the case of cldr we can see that it formed its bottom back in march with the roads momentum indicator signals on march 20th was that bull sash candle and then we have our profiles and stevie's red line out here and so we can see that price was able to take out resistance it was able to take out the resistance the top of its uh, profiles out there and now price has pretty much been dancing along stevie's red and green line out here but we did get a roads momentum indicator pattern out here just like at the bottom just in reverse and that was on june the 20 20 june 20th out here and uh what sellers so this is the importance of really truly understanding support and resistance out here you get a top you get a bottom bottom say hey i don't know if you're going to be able to push out get get above resistance or not but if you do that's great and in the case of tops i don't know if you're going to be able to get below support but i want to know where support is well in the case of called deer out here sylvia the first level of support off that roads momentum indicator top was the top of its daily profile bearish structured profile but once price closed above it nothing more bullish than a failed bearish pattern out here so all price did yesterday was come back and test old resistance now new support that's your eleven dollar and 85 cent and price is above stevie's green line now it's got a confirmed topping signal and what i don't know sylvia is whether or not uh 
is whether or not price is going to be able to take that level out. If you do get a close above the high from June the 19th out there, then the daily time frame chart is saying, you know, full steam ahead. But you're kind of caught in this no man zone out here. The better buy at this stage of the game, the better buy would be $11 and a penny out there. And that's its actual breakout level from a TD9 count pattern that it formed. Let me just switch this over here real quickly to the uh, weekly time frame. Forget about Stevie's green or red line because this is now in the daily time frame. Just checking to see if there's any kind of a uh, topping or bottoming signal. You'll notice that on the weekly basis as well, back in March, it was a nice TD9 count pattern as well. And a uh, price just simply coming back to its breakout level of 563. On the weekly time frame, I don't have anything that is bearish. In fact, quite Frankly, it's a bullish pattern out here for the weekly. So yesterday's move to that um, to the top of that daily profile may have been your entry point out there. Monthly time frame, real quickly. What do I have out here? I don't have anything, and it hasn't traded long enough, uh, Sylvia, on a monthly time frame for me to get much of a uh, read out here. So yesterday may have been the nut, but we won't know that because of the topping signal that's out there. So it just as all depends upon your risk reward. Right now, I'd say your entry point is around 1106 to 1185 on a pullback. We'll be right back. Back in the day, I joined the Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by Bam! as well as whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us. And Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that will take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. Bam! If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. Hey, here's the uh, here's a yearly chart of uh, Deutsche Bank out here. Uh, you know, at one point in time, so this is back in uh, January 2007. You had Deutsche Bank, uh, German's primary bank out there, uh, at 140. Hey, you're at nine dollars and fifty one cents right now. Uh, I know if I put the daily time frame chart out here, you know, somebody might think, oh, man, look at this. This thing is on a man, nice bottom and it's moving uh, higher out here. How many banks do you think have some type of um, liability issues, um, some type of counterparty risk inside of uh, Deutsche Bank out there? So, again, you know, it's a this is this is I'm not trying to time this one with regard to the banks out there. I'm just saying of all the sectors to stay away from longer term while we're going through all of this you know, blank from Shinola out there. And I'm from Detroit, so I can say that. I even got a watch that says Shinola on it out there. Maybe you do too. Um, you know, just not the, I mean, from a trading standpoint, you know, okay, great. But man, 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 man. Okay, so let's let's go to our next questions out here. John in Sarasota. John wants to take a look at INO as the ticker symbol, a little screamer out here, a trading out at uh, 3023. It's been a heck of a move. It's been a 100% move over the past three trading sessions out here. John, I hope you're in it. But uh, uh, what is showing for INO and if time uh, JO out here? Okay, so let's take a look at the INO. Uh, it's above its daily, it's weekly, it's a monthly chart. Looks like having uh, one of the best weeks ever. Uh, clearly curing something out here because uh, used to not trade uh, that much. But uh, how are you going to trade this? It's above all kinds of resistance out here. I'd say uh, don't trade it right now. Don't jump in on it. I mean, you can if you want. As far as patterns out here, I don't have a topping, confirmed topping pattern. But price is moving higher, doing less relative energy. So if there were a bearish reversal candle to form out here, John, uh, that would be a signal of price wanting to move lower. We can see a number of TD9 count patterns out here that have worked. Uh, bar number nine back on March the 10th, bar number eight on uh, May the 21st out here. This most recent TD9 count didn't even blink, just kept moving. So strong momentum behind this. You didn't need me to tell you that. Um, and you're only going to be in bar number four. So, you know, you could have at least another five trading days with this uh, continuing to move higher, at least form those other bars out here that'd be pretty easy uh, easy peasy right now to get a, a td9 count pattern going that's on the daily time frame out here on the weekly time frame we take a look at the uh, weekly um i don't have any topping signal other than just r price movement higher doing less relative energy no reason to really go to the um monthly time frame so john I, you know your question is what's it showing join a heck of a breakout out here 100 percent in uh, three days 16 to 30 bucks, basically, or yeah, 15 to 30 bucks out here. Um, I don't know how you trade these things. I just, I'm not, this is something that I'm not good at. There's many things I'm not good at. And one of them would be, uh, you know, jump in at your own risk and have a trailing stop or something along those lines out there. But 100% move over a couple of days. Again, I don't know what they cured out here, but even the volume's not telling me that they cured cancer, which how many people a year do you know by just out curious? Just curious, how many people a year die from cancer? Does anybody know that out there? Just in the U.S. I mean, you can give me the number worldwide. I don't know what it is. How many people died from this coronavirus so far in the U.S.? Like 120,000 or something? 110, 120,000? I'm pretty sure that uh, I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess. Somebody will look it up and, and for me on the Internet. There's probably something that shows. But I'm going to guess there's uh, that... Uh, uh, there's, I don't know, 10 times, 20 times the number. We should probably, on our uh, news channel, don't you think we should 600,000? That's all? Really, Jay? Well, okay. I think uh, 600,000, that's a lot. Don't you think we should be, instead of just uh, talking about coronavirus all the time, we should say how many people have died this year from uh, so far through of uh, cancer out there? Well, should we really focus on our biggest problems? And wait a minute, sorry, I'll get off the soapbox here. Let's go. Oh, John had asked about uh, JO. That is the uh, ETF uh, for uh, coffee. So let's just go look at uh, coffee, see what uh, coffee is uh, doing out here. So uh, give me a uh, moment, uh, one second to uh, do that. Let's pull up uh, the commodities. Can't catch cancer from someone. Well, maybe, maybe not. In any event, um, <clears throat> let's go take a look at uh, coffee out here.
Uh, if we take a look at uh, coffee, formed a nice little Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. Did that a couple of days ago. In fact, we've had two confirmations of that, uh, John. Out here, you've got a uh, bullish engulfing candle and a bull sash candle. You can see a nice bullish structured profile out here. So I would be long J.O. unless you saw price close below uh, the coffee contract. Two two closes below 95.23 uh, out here. But price is right now, it's got a nice bottoming pattern. Price is consolidating between support and resistance, uh, that being its market profiles out there. So hope that helps you out. We did get two in for you. Let's go to our caller. Let's go to uh, Gary in New Buffalo, Michigan. Gary, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you? Hey, uh, my fellow Michigander. How are you doing? Doing hey. well. Thank, thanks for asking. Okay, great. Hey, I was looking at, um, I'm still in AG quite a bit, uh, and um, I was um, looking to see what your thoughts were on, you know, the, um, I know Silver's um, had some issues, and maybe you could look at Silver just in general, um, yeah. and you've uh, talked about that. Um, uh, sure, 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 absolutely. Um, so, so let's go take a look at silver first here. Give me a second to uh, get back to silver and uh, really all of its future contracts out here. So if we take a look at silver, we're still trading the uh, July contracts. Today's volume, about 72,000 shares uh, so far. Uh, we'll be rolling over into the September here in a couple of uh, weeks, it looks like. Silver's just consolidating out here right now, Gary, and it's consolidating in between its uh, daily profile levels, the bottom of which is 1736, which has been tested a couple times, and it has held, as well as the top of its profile, which is 1824. So a uh, real nice uh, range out here, 1736 to 1824. We're in the middle of the range right now. Um, if price can close above the 1771 level, pretty good chance that price makes a run for the 1824 area. So that's what I see when we take a look at uh, silver. You can still take a look at the September contract really doing the same thing. The December contract doing the same thing. The March contract in 2021 doing the same thing, which is consolidating and trading in between support and resistance out here. So that's what we see when we take a look at that. Any questions about silver? Oh, that covers it. Give me a good, okay. good range, good number. Okay, good. Perfect. Okay. So now let's go, let's go take a look at uh, AG and uh, let's do this a couple of different ways. Let's understand where this is trading in relationship to its profiles out here. It's three different profiles. And right now, price is trading in between the uh, daily profile that formed a couple of days ago. It's bullish in structure. So what you don't really want to see, or if you did see two close below 857, that's telling you you've got lower price to go. Now, the question would be, okay, where's the lower price to go? From a profile standpoint, my eyes go right to the weekly time frame, and that would be the center line. That's where both buyers and sellers are present in between its weekly profile. And that's a wide range because that's between 478 and 1029. So the answer to that question, if there was a close below 857, you'd be looking at 784. And a close below 784, then you'd be looking at about 478 to 609 area out here. But we don't know whether it's going to be able to break through that. I just want just if it does, that's that's what the signal would be. Your resistance out here is 977. I see we're about to go to a hard break out here. So, Gary, can you hold on through that? Sure. Great. Thanks. Perfect. OK, so we'll be back with uh, Gary. We're going to take a look at uh, a G is the ticker symbol. Of course, folks, uh, I'm happy to uh, take a look at something that you would like as well. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com. Then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Uh, folks, so first, Majestic Silver is what we're looking at with uh, Gary in uh, Michigan. And uh, so, Gary, I, I pulled over my other charts. I was looking at my other charts out here to look for signals. And on the daily time frame, I don't have a, a topping pattern, per se. What we do have, so, it, I mean, it's a, it, so first, Majestic, on its move to the upside, ran out of gas where it should have. So you would ask, well, where should it have done that? Well, if we take a look at the TD9 count breakdown level, 1088, um, that is exactly where it should have uh, stopped. And that's, in fact, what it did out here back on June 2nd. You had that little bearish engulfing candle on June 3rd. Again, no pattern other than just pulling back to a breakdown level. Now, the reason why I bring that up is because uh, the when we were looking at the profile charts, I said, hey, look, if you see a close below 857, certainly two closes below them, the bottom of its bullish structured profile out there, price should pull back. And we went to the weekly profile level. Well, here we've got the daily level that we know has been tested and rejected once before. So 731 would be the price objective to the downside. And I think more likely than not, that's what you're going to see. Now, I won't know that until you see a close below 857. But the reason that I said that was because I also threw up the weekly chart. So now when I see the weekly chart out here, it makes all kinds of sense to me. What do you mean all kinds of sense? Hey, Gary, don't you like I can talk to you, but really I'm just talking to myself? Well, I, I, I know that people have got to shake their head. I'm just to be quiet and just listen to you because you know best. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But here's what this did. So AG, when it made its tie out here back in uh, 2020 in January, uh, was with the Rhodes Mintum Indicator signal. Cool. Moves lower, and it forms a bottom on bar number nine of a TD9 count. Beautiful thing. What that did was that set up the 1088 as well. So we had 1088 on the daily, 1088 on the weekly. And if we take a look at what was taking place uh, just a couple of weeks ago now, uh, as you had that bar number nine right below, just below that uh, breakdown level. And what that suggests to you and I is that price is going to continue to move lower out here. Uh, you may see a uh, bounce up into the top of this profile at 977, but the weekly signals are very clear. The daily signals will be more clear based upon the battleground. And that battleground, again, just to, you know, is 857 on the downside and going to be 977 on the top side. 
And one last question, because you, you mentioned in the newsletter uh, that uh, Silver had the uh, had hit uh, confirmed a uh, rose um, uh, indicator uh, top, and how does that fit into all that too? Sure. So silver has pretty much been consolidating ever since it has done that. So let's pull over the let's pull over the silver chart, and here's that rose momentum indicator top. So much like First Majestic Silver did. On the weekly basis, when we're looking at that, it was just a clear pattern and a clear top out here. So here's the bearish engulfing candle that confirmed that pattern. And now we can see that silver's just been trading, consolidating with inside support and resistance. Silver, like First Majestic, also has a bullish structured profile right now. So in the case of silver, two closes below $17.36. Uh, would then confirm that silver is going to go ahead and pull back or should pull back to test support or the breakout level, which would be 1484. We don't have that message just now, so it's just consolidating between support and resistance. Great. Okay. That's a number to, to, to plug in, the 1736. Got yeah, it. Yeah, okay, you'd be so watching much. that too, you know, along with the first majestic chart and where price is trading. And, and the numbers will tell you, you at least now know with certainty. Um, in the case of First Majestic, that it should be strong support between 857 and 877. Got it. Okay, got it. Thank you so much. Make oh, you bet. Day. You bet. Good to talk to you. That was Gary in uh, Michigan, my home state. Uh, so uh, let's go to our next question out here, uh, coming in by uh, email. This one coming in from Michael K. And in oh, lost in Niagara Falls. What a great place to be lost, though. I mean. It might be pretty nice right now. June, June 25th, Niagara Falls. Hey, Michael, go get a, uh, a custard. It, 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 of course, I guess they, they sell custard around here now, but I remember you know, as a kid going to Niagara Falls and uh, and uh, getting uh, getting custard out there. Hey, I'm kind of a, uh, I have a sweet tooth. Not a salt tooth out there. But that GSX is the ticker symbol. So let's just get to it already out here. See what uh, we're looking at. Is that black? Is that, uh, 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 um, no, that's GSX Tishudo Inc. No idea what they are, who they are. I thought that was uh, GSX. I thought well, that was uh, GlaxoSmith. In any event out here, price right now is trading uh, in its daily bear structured profile. So the level Michael, that you want to watch out here. Now, this formed a couple of days ago. It's going to be 57.33. If you see this close below 55.17, not 55.16, I don't know, below 55 bucks, then you should see price make a way down to the bottom of that profile at 48.66. Don't message. You don't have that message yet. Price above the weekly, price is above the monthly set of profiles out there. So let's go take a look at... Uh, let me get over to my other charts out here. Uh, let's go see if I've got any other messages for you. And I probably should really read your question, but you sent a link out there. I can't open up the link just yet. Any chance you can provide an unbiased analysis of GSX without upsetting the Chinese <laughs> Communist Party? Okay, that's a good one. I mean, they are tied right into my modem. I'm sure of that. So I don't know if I can pull that up. But let's go take a look at it anyway. So you got the profile information. So that's helpful to you. Let me get back to the daily time frame. Uh, we can see the weekly is not really generating anything of importance to us. Um, what do I have? I don't, even though there's a TD9 count pattern, it, it's not one that I consider to be a valid topping signal because the high was made on bar number six. Still doesn't mean it won't top out there. It's just not the way that Stevie uses the uh, pattern out here. So right now, with regard to GSX out here, Michael, I'd be watching. I said 50. Remember, I said if there was a close below 55 bucks. Well, now we're going to change that because the close would have to be below Stevie's green line. So you and I now know where that is at 5417. That is unbiased. That's just a numerical number out here. And as long as price stays above that, then it is either bullish to neutral. At this stage here, we'll go to neutral because price is trading below the bot of the top of the bear structured profile out there. Um, but if it can close above that, there's no topping pattern or uh, uh, no, there's no topping pattern. And therefore price. Well, I mean, there is a sell the D point. Let's go take a look at that. Um, or it looks like it should be a sell the D point. Here's your A to B equals CD pattern out here. And yeah, so it completed a one to one point two seven two A to B equals CD with a bearish engulfing candle out here. So it's got the topping signals. You've got your bearish structured profile. Now it's time for you to let the market this prove itself to you with regard to what it wants to do out there.
Uh, again, 54.17 is the key number to be watching, a close below that. And you're looking at move back to 48.67 or 39.29. Now, nobody should be mad with that. That's just simply what buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I, Michael. So thanks for writing in. Don't be lost in Niagara Falls, especially... Uh, you know, if you're walking near the guardrails uh, where you could uh, or make sure you've got a good barrel, right? Uh, have a barrel of fun. OK, so uh, now it's getting a little kooky in here, isn't it? Must be the uh, I don't know what it is, uh, but uh, uh, must be the sun. Hector and the fuel injector is always good to hear from Hector. Thoughts on banks versus gold. Oh, Hector and his ears were perking. So, um So with regard to gold, we've sort of, well, let's, let's, we'll cover gold. Here's, let's see if I can get to this in the next 10 seconds out here. Eh, probably can't. Um, probably can't, probably can't. When we come back from this break, we'll look at Goldilocks for Hector and Patty and the fuel injectors. We'll be right back, folks. Markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets. This is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the the direction of the key indices, selective stocks and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30 day money back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Oh man, this is a bummer. Hey Steve, yeah, I'm here. Let's uh, let's just. Uh, 
I still can't hear you. We're having a uh, problem out here, folks, so my apology. Uh, but I'm just going to talk for the next uh, minute out here. With regard to gold, with regard to gold, um, look, there's it's just in a consolidation as well. Now, in this case here, not really between profiles, but between the low that formed out here, the consolidation began on April the 8th. We're in June, June, the end of June out here. So we've got a three-month consolidation. And the top of the consolidation is going to be the high from April the 14th out at the uh, 1789 level. Now, price above the top of its profile. So it's above resistance. So we really kind of have a neutral signal out here with regard to gold. But it's just been in a consolidation out here. Uh, nothing more, nothing less. Always good to just simply see it as it is, not worse than it is. Actually, it's best to see it better than it is. But with regard to gold, it ain't any better than that. So, folks, uh, what are you going to watch for? Look, uh, the market today is just in a consolidation as well. And that consolidation pattern out here, I can show you in a minute. I just got a minute to win it. Let me get to those opening range charts out here. Learn understand know the opening range let's pay attention to the nq today right now she or he is testing the top at opening range that's the top of the u.s opening range that number is at 10 022 if you see two closes above that on a 30-minute basis expect the markets to continue to rally going into the close otherwise we're just in a consolidation today between 10 022 and 9893 Folks, have a terrific Thursday. Be safe out there, and I'll look forward to seeing you on fantastic, fabulous, fun day Friday. Take care, folks.